Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew here with me once again. And yeah, before before I get into it, yeah, I know my bed's all messed up, but um, it's a long story. But anyways, that's not what I'm talking about today. But uh, anyways, um, today I want to make a video that I've actually been looking forward to for about a month since I didn't realize realize this until uh, last month, basically. It is the 20th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It came out in Japan of November 21st, 1998. Um, the 20th anniversary over here will be in two days, but you know what? It doesn't matter because it was still released on this day, so I'm still going to celebrate it, even though I am a bit early, but it doesn't really matter. Nintendo is a Japanese uh, video game company. But uh, anyways, let us get into it. And to prepare myself, I have both my Ocarina of Time uh, Golden N64 cartridge and the 3DS remaster, uh, the Nintendo Selects Edition, even though it doesn't really change anything about it. But anyways, uh, I don't really need to show these in order to for you guys to know what I'm talking about since uh, I have uh, the picture in the corner right there. But uh, anyways, uh, let's get into it. So, Ocarina of Time, when it first came out, people fell in love with it. Now, I'm not sure a whole lot of the story when it came out because I wasn't born in 1998. Even if I was, I wouldn't know anything about it because I was a baby. Um, but, but no, um, it came out like two years. Um, I was born two years later, but anyways... Uh, but what I do know is that Ocarina of Time is truly an amazing game. And I'm not just saying that because everybody else is saying that. No, I truly mean it. Because, first off, it is my first Zelda game I have ever played. Even though it was two and a half years ago. I fell in love with the Zelda series as soon as I picked up a, a controller and started playing this game. When I, I did not know, I rarely knew anything about it. And uh, this transported me into the opening with the village. Made, made me feel like I was on an adventure when playing the game. It was truly uh, a great time, and I just wanted to see more of what I could do. And, you know, also, I should mention, this is not a review of the game. If you want to see my review, I have a playlist called... Uh, where I review a bunch of the legend, the games in the Legend of Zelda series, so you can check that out, or you can just look it up or whatever. You'll 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 find it. Um, the first time I ever beaten the game was May of last year when I got the 3DS remaster. Um, now nowadays people say the game really isn't as good as they remember. Some a lot of people say it's overrated now, and I can kind of understand that, but I'm not really going to complain about it. If you think it's overrated, hey, then that's your opinion, man. But uh, anyways, uh, I'm just, it's just, I, I, I can't even think of the words what I'm saying right now is, but I could have sworn there was a lot more I wanted to say about this, but. If I did, then, again, I'm not trying to make this a review of the game. I'm just telling you how my first experience with this game was, and how exciting it was. Like, I've beaten this game after i beaten Breath of the Wild, which was a month ago. At the time, I thought Breath of the Wild was my favorite Zelda game. That's because I never beaten Ocarina of Time. A month later, I finally was able to finish it in a week on the 3DS remaster. I mean, I mean, hey, this is still the best N64 game, in my opinion, along with GoldenEye and games like that. But anyways, um, it's probably my favorite game to play on the 3DS. You know, even on the 3DS, it's the same game, except, uh, you know, there are some few tweaks, like... They fix the water temple just a teeny tiny bit. It's still frustrating, but hey, if you were to beat the water temple faster, it would probably be on the 3DS. Um, 
that's one thing I can agree on is the water temple is frustrating, but hey, it's not impossible. All right. Oh yeah, and Navi, she, I think she's a girl. She's pretty annoying, but you know, she she helps you out on your journey by, uh, she basically helps you when you target, uh, the enemy so you can fight him back. And I did not know that until the final boss with Ganondorf. And because you can't target Ganondorf, so you just have to face Ganondorf. And honestly, the controls feel absolutely tight and solid. They actually they actually work properly, both on the N64 and the 3DS. And hey, if you have the GameCube, it'll probably work there too. I don't know because I don't have the GameCube version, nor have I played it. But all that I know is that the control is absolutely so solid. Feels like you are actually Link. And transporting from both young Link uh, to the adult Link uh, in like the quarter half of the game, it truly feels like a great experience. Some people nowadays, they would say Ocarina of uh, no, uh, Twilight Princess is the best, or Majora's Mask. As much as I love those games, there's just something about Ocarina of Time that will always stick with me. Despite being a fan of the series for almost three years, so how would I know? I have played so many Zelda games in less than a few years, so I I kind of know enough. All that I do know is that even though people might not say that it lives up to the hype anymore, or maybe I shouldn't put it that way because it's a very old game, I could say that the ex it truly it truly has nostalgia, or I'm not sure that's the word I should say. All that I'm saying is, it's just after with 20 years of people playing the game, I still find it to be the best in the series. Yeah, even with games like Wind Waker and the other two games I mentioned and Breath of the Wild. And Skyward Sword. A lot of people can agree that Ocarina of Time is better than Skyward Sword. I, I love Skyward Sword, but uh, you can't beat Ocarina of Time, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, it's just one of those games. Ocarina of Time, I put it on my favorite games of all time list, and I still put it there. Because the experience of playing Zelda in 3D for the very first time it truly had an impact. And, you know, just knowing that Shigeru Miyamoto worked on this incredible title and people are still playing it is truly a great achievement. And people are still talking about it. Whether you love it or hate it, it's still going to be remembered as one of the most iconic video games of all time. And all that I have to say is, happy anniversary. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I've really been, I really wanted to make this video before I forgot, but I'm so glad that I remembered. Anyways, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. The next few days, I'll be seeing those movies that I mentioned in my previous, uh, you know what they are. Everybody... Everybody's already seen it already, seen them already. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.